I don't have any problem with God be, uh, having emotions. Can you not see? Yeah, I don't see. Why, why would you have a problem with that? Bad, bad. These are human weaknesses. No, you perceive them as weakness. How can jealousy not be a weakness? Because if it's warranted, if you have a righteous reason for being okay, jealous, okay, it's you're, warranted. You're, you're trying to make out that there are some examples of anger that are good and yes, healthy. Yes, evidently, yes. Some. Like finding you, your wife is cheating on you and being angry about it is a righteous anger. Yes. No. You don't, you don't think it's righteous? Good. Jealousy. How can jealousy be righteous? Oh. Jealousy can be righteous because if the one can't can't be righteous. Righteous. I'd, I'd almost more yeah, understand yeah, the anger thing, but jealousy, how could jealousy ever Imagine be Imagine if you were the one who was morally perfect and the author of all things, including your own creation. Would that not mean that in terms of your jealousy, you would not want people worshipping false gods? And would you not no, be justified in that? I would not give a damn, because if I'd done it all, I'd know I'd done it all. So why would I give a shit about someone else coming along saying, no, you didn't do it, my little god over here did it. Well, if it's, I it's, knew I was right, why would I be jealous? Well, no, no, it's the, same, it, it's the same thing as if, if you had a son. It's the pettiness of religion, it really is. No, I don't but think you so. you honestly think your god hmm. could be jealous of someone saying that something else is a god? Because it all, all worship... Because surely worship. your god would know that that isn't a god. He so did, he does indeed. Jealous? He is jealous because he loves us enough that he wants us to worship him. Because he that's is the arrogant. right one to that's worship. Arrogance. He can't be arrogant. Wanting he is what he is. Wanting no. to be worshipped. He is love. He can't be arrogant if he is the very thing he himself. Is. And I've always said this. I'm an atheist. I, I know. God either doesn't exist or he's an arrogant, vile individual. Uh, see. No, I it's, disagree. It's the case. You just, you just kind of defined it. No, I said there is a righteous distinction, and you yes. haven't made that distinction. Do you, does your God get angry because I don't worship him? He w wishes that you would, yeah. And he's angry about that. Well, yeah, in a sense, yeah. And it's a righteous and jealous, anger. Because I don't yes, because he is worthy of worship, and he wishes that you would worship him. Hitler said things like that. Stalin said things like that. What about These are God the or about himself? Yeah, but I. Or anyone else yeah, but I, I'm not talking about humans. If you if you told me Hitler or Stalin, even worse, even worse, okay. that's not a human. Why? Why is that worse? Surely, from your point of view, because it's the ultimate totalitarian dictator. Who but, demands to yes. be worshipped, and if you don't, right, he will right, burn you right. forever. But you're that is the right. absolute, absolute okay. evil. But from your perspective, of evil. but from your perspective, you God doesn't exist. You're worshipping yeah. to me. What is the epitome of evil? No, no, no. I think that's completely wrong. God, Can by definition, understand, I, I understand your point of view. But what I'm saying is, God, Someone by definition, is the greatest moral being. My father is my father. Biologically, yeah. that will always be the case. Yes, yes. He, Would you be upset if, if you're... If he happened mm. to be a paedophile or a mm. rapist or whatever else, mm. he would not deserve my respect. Right, that's so true, the, yeah. the fact that he's my father mm. in itself does not demand respect. So therefore, the fact that you believe your God is the creator mm. in itself mm. does not command respect in, Why? My, Why? Moral, in Why? my moral view. If, if because for the is... same reason my father doesn't necessarily... Yeah, but your father's a contingent being. You're talking about the uncaused being. Your, your God disappears when you disappear, and all your fellow... Because it's a creation of my mind, is that yeah. what you're saying? Okay, well, I don't think that's true. And I think there's very good reasons to believe that's not true. Uh, Islam will die out when all Muslims die out, like Buddhism will die out when all Buddhists die out. Well, atheism die out when atheists die out. Die out. Well, no, because atheism is just a lack of something. No, it's, it's the affirmation of no, the belief that there is no God. No, you're talking about Am I an a-philatophist? Am I an a-philatelist a a because I don't collect stamps? No, I'm not. That's a terrible I'm analogy. In you're in to it. You, either, you, collect, you could say there's a right. dichotomy. You right. collect stamps yeah. or you don't collect stamps. What if you affirm the belief that you shouldn't collect you stamps? What if you affirm the belief you shouldn't? In the future, all religion will die out. No, I'm not saying that. I said it. I wish it would. I don't think I And I'm perplexed that it hasn't already. Yeah. In fact, new ones are still being created, aren't they? Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is the biggest mystery to me why these medieval nonsenses still exist in the 21st century. Medieval? Well, that's where they came from but a long time even, ago. Even the Not Christians, medieval, like, most of the morals even of our... The Christians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I would agree with Christians on this one. There's, most of the morals of society come from religion. Like, even the UK, the UK, most of morals of society, before of how we Christi behave with each other, come from Christianity. Christianity hasn't always been on this land. Yeah. It came here from the Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. Really saying there was no morality on this island. No, no, there was no, morality. I mean, not like today. Yeah, there was also a lot of bad things as well. There were a lot of bad people. things today. I mean, yeah, of course, but there is an improvement, right? Do you think that today's morality? Not because of 
Christianity. You don't think so? Some industrial, Christians... Because the Industrial Revolution. So you're saying... Industrial Revolu you're saying How did the Industrial Revolution bring about higher morality? Sorry? How did the Industrial Revolution bring about a change well, no, in morality? No, because we're measuring... I'm not just measuring... I'm measuring success on multiple fronts. Okay. Okay, sure. Economically, socially... Yeah. How long we live... Which can be traced back to Judeo-Christian values. The very idea well, that human so beings have China value is comes now from. the new superpower on this world. Yes. Right? Well, you can say that. They're not more than Christianity. Is they? Their Christianity is growing in China. Yes, but you cannot. You, please don't try and claim the fact no, that China is becoming a superpower. But, it's got anything to do with Christianity. No, I'm not saying that at all. So therefore, what? there's a hugely mm. successful superpower mm. who's not got there because of Christianity. Well, how long China lasts is another question in terms of the CCP. Well, yeah? China doesn't well, have been the there morals. for a long time. It's been there for. Yeah, they've got different morals. Japan's got. Morals. Let's not let's not be Anglo-centric. Let's not China, be Anglo-centric and say that only China our morality. China is doing a con they're doing a genocide right now. I know, now. I know. You never hear about it. Do you? Exactly. you don't often hear about so, it. So all we hear about China here, moral? all we hear about here is Palestine. No one talks about the Uyghurs. No one talks about um, China. I would say China is not moral. Yeah, yeah not moral. In, terms, in, in terms of its government, yeah, yeah. its yeah. government. Yeah, there are plenty of good Chinese people, but the, the government is corrupt. Yeah, the government. If only they would turn to Christ and understand that. There are better ways of living. <laughs> Would you not at least agree from it from a practical point of view? I, 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 I am still going back to what the conversation was earlier. I'm sure. still gobsmacked that these all-powerful gods, mm. Allahs, mm. have all these human emotions of anger Allah, and jealousy. There's only one. Right, it's different language, isn't it? Same God, different languages. I don't have any problem with God uh, having emotions. Can you not see? Yeah, I don't see. Why, why would you have a problem with that? They're, they're, these are human weaknesses. No, you perceive them as weakness. How can jealousy not be a weakness? Because How if it's warranted, not be a weakness? if you have a righteous reason for being okay, jealous, okay, it's you're, warranted. You're, you're trying to make out that there are some examples of anger that are good and yes, healthy. Yes, evidently, yes. Some. Like finding your wife is cheating push, push. on you and being angry about it is a righteous anger. Yes. No. You, anger don't, you don't think it's righteous? Ask, ask a doctor, ask your GP next time you see That's him. That's one Say, aspect of it. For me to I'm be talking about morality, not in terms of health, yeah? Well, how be, being, being happy all the time if, probably if has negative health, to it. You're not here. That's true, but that doesn't mean that you can't equate that morality, yeah? Well, if, you, if aspects of your morality result in ill health, I don't want those aspects of morality. Sadness results in ill health. I it agree. does, yes But it there does. are appropriate times to Have be sad. you not heard of depression? Yes, yes, I'm not talking about depression. I'm talking about just well, general sadness. sadness. Is, is on one but is it appropriate? Is it warranted and appropriate to be sad at times? It's so, for example, that we someone you love. Right, right. But there are avoid. times when it's warranted, yes? Not warranted, no. You maybe don't think maybe, so. maybe if, there are times when it's, um, it's always going to happen. But it's not. It's something. It's not something we should be espousing and, and, and look and hunting out for. And, and I'm not saying you should aim for sadness. What I'm saying is that when sadness occurs, it is often as a natural result to something bad. Yes, like loss. But does it help though? I'm not saying it helps. So bereavement, I've never, so I've never so said. Bereavement is you, quite an strong, strong example of, of sadness. Do we try and help people through bereavement, or mm. do we try and keep them dwelling in their bereavement? We help we them through it. Them but, to, but to not acknowledge the sadness is, in effect, to not acknowledge the truth. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, I'm not saying it's not an aspect of reality, but it's not positive, it's not healthy. But you keep, you keep equating. No, 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 no. Use the word that you no, no, no. You're equating outcome with the actual stance of something. Do you understand? That's fallacious. All I'm talking about is, can you have such a thing as righteous anger? I'm not saying what flows from that, because what flows from that is I'm different sure, from the I actual said, I've state. I've never heard that phrase before you muttered it today. Okay. Well, but well, it strikes me as an odd, odd um, concept. Sure. Well, I think we should leave it at that, I think. What purpose we've... does it serve? Well, righteous anger, yeah. acknowledging the truth. Because there are things to be righteously angry about. If someone cheats, uh, if your wife cheats on you, you have a righteous anger because you know it's wrong. And how long can that anger last for it to continue as righteous? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I, I have to, to give an anger. I hope it has a time limit. Well, it depends what flows from it. Because I do believe in being in stoic. I do believe in that you have these emotions, you control these emotions. But to say that you should never have the emotions, I think is just a complete extreme view. To have the emotions is a is a understanding and acknowledgement of something that is true, whether that's a moral truth or a factual truth, in terms of uh, an observable truth, like a natural truth. Okay, that's that's my view. Anyway, take care. Yeah. Oh, wrap up, wrap up. All right, I had a quick conversation with Steve. Steve, oh, 
Steve-O. Yeah. 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 Always good to talk to Steve. Uh, he was talking about how God cannot have in any situation anything like emotions. And I was pointing out how there are some emotions that are warranted, especially from an almighty, all-loving God. God is fully righteous. He's fully above all of his creation and he is worthy of worship. Righteous anger is a logical extension from that. Righteous jealousy is a logical extension from that. It is not logical for humans because we are not the almighty creator. We are limited. God is not limited. This is why God can have emotions. God bless and have a good day.